now we move into the uh, more somber territory. Now, the reason why I came across Silverthorn was because of Damien Rook, which we covered at the top of the show. And I do want to just quickly send out a message of condolences to his family and friends because his death was very sudden and very unexpected. Um, and it was a matter of weeks ago as we do this one today. Now, he sent us a message at the show pointing out this band, Silverthorn. He was talking to Brian Titchy, who was in the band, and that's, I don't know how he even managed to do that, but he was apparently having a conversation with him, and he was raving about this band non-stop. He loved them, and every time we could, he would suggest um, the clip, which is the title track to the EP, which is Tear the uh, Sky Wide Open. So this is for him, and we'll do another album after for him as well. So, Damien, uh, to your family and to your friends, our serious, sincerest condolences. Um, hopefully you're all doing well, and now we'll get stuck into our thoughts on this while the dog's kicking his head behind me. All right. <laughs> all right, so Silverthorn, Tear the Sky Wide Open, the debut EP from this band, five tracks for 23 minutes. The lineup of this power trio is Pete Shoulder, Daniel Spree, and Brian Titchy. Uh, this is released in February 2020 by Golden Robot Records, and I haven't got a lot of other information about it aside from that. So here we go. What do you think of this one? Yeah, it was like a dirty, heavy-style groove rock album, you know? Yeah. Um, it was diverse. It actually, the first two songs probably blended well, and then mm. after that, it does, you know, take on its own sort of um, entity. It goes in different directions, but it doesn't go too far away where you go, this sounds like a different band. It yeah. all, uh, all seems to work well. Um, I thought, I know it's only five songs, but I thought the track order worked really well and yeah. where they put the differences, it, it made sense um, in track order. Um, it wasn't breaking any new ground, but it still sounded fresh because you yeah. don't get that, um, it's almost like that, and it's, this is probably pushing a little bit, but it reminded me a bit of Caius. Of okay, yeah, cool. That, yeah. Just that, that fuzzy sort of yeah. dirty, dark, you know, um, rhythm guitar. Kind of yeah. Um, wasn't as fuzzy as what as Caius would be or anything, but it did, re you know, lend its hand to that. And I'm yeah. just wondering if that was a bit of an influence. Um, but it also reminded me of, if you're a Soundgarden or Electric Mary fan, yeah, this is not far away from the that. vocal. Yeah, he's, he's, geez, I was going to say he sounded a lot like Cornell. Yeah, like, in some spots, I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude, he's not dead. He's in this band. Um, powerful vocal too. Yeah, he could Super do a lot powerful. with his voice. I was mm. surprised. I, you know, um, some of those choruses were very powerful and yeah, sort of high register. And then he had this nice mid to low raspy yeah. tone as well, which yep. did lend itself to Cornell a lot. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, no, I, I thought it was good. Um, I gave it an 8 out of 10. Yep. Um, pull me back again and Black River's Rising were my two standouts. Okay. But really, the whole lot was good. I, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. So, no. Yeah. Awesome. It's cool doing ones with you because like me and Brendan tend to bounce into the same directions a lot, whereas you and I can go wildly different. And so far, all of our standout picks are completely different to one another, which is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it means we're getting, like, there's something for everyone in these releases, which is really cool. And this one yeah. is no exception. I really enjoyed this one. This is a hell of a debut EP. Fuck me, dead. Um, I don't know what it is, but a lot of power trios have this massive sound. I don't know how they do it, but it, obviously in the production, it's up in the studio. But this one sounds great. Um, we should do a power trio special at some point, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> that would be an interesting one. Um I'm not sure if this is self-produced. In you, know, you do do your research, and they've talked about their studio being on the outskirts of, of somewhere. I think Los Angeles, maybe. Um, so they might have self-produced it. I don't know. But whoever did the production on this, I thought deserves a bit of a nod. Uh, the taste will impact how you perceive the tones because it does have that that fuzzy sort of desert stone rock kind of influence on the guitar. But it's not over the top. It's just no, one of those things not. where. It fills out the sound more nicely, but some people don't like that, and as such, that'll put them off. But if it's if you're open minded to that sort of stuff, not that it's a big deal anyway, but just because but of taste, yeah. It had a bit of guts. It was it was yeah. a rock EP, yeah. you know, like it it won't make commercial radio because it has no. a bit of guts in it. That's that's the worst part about it. This is the mm. way rock should sound today. Yeah, the open, yeah. The, the lead song on this "Tear the Sky Wide Open" is a hell of a song, and that mm. is up there for me for one of the songs of the year I found so far. Okay. <laughs> That hook is fucking amazing. That's why I'd be perfect for radio. I would love to see it get a shot at radio. Um, and this thing, 
it pumps out of the speakers and the mix is great. I love the tones. I like the space on it. Like it really does have a big sound. It just has the whole 3D dimension on it. Really cool. It's blues based, but it's really ballsy. And it's like, it, because of the diversity in the EP, you know that if they do an album anytime soon, you're going to get a bit of everything on it as well. It's got yeah. that Zeppelin to Soundgarden kind of it does, it anywhere really does. in that wheelhouse kind of thing. And they could do just about anything with this, with this, like the five tracks I've got here show you anything is on the cards and it's an impressive debut and it shows off the songwriting chops already five songs with the diversity that I've got. Again, they don't feel so far out of place that it's not the same thing anymore. It's, you can tell it's the same organic process, but they have some other thing that they feel comfortable in their own skin. They're going to yeah. back themselves, you know? Yeah. So nowadays it's so easy. If one song takes off, then we need to write another 10 of those, yeah. you know? Um, they're not going to do that, I don't think. They're going to just write what they feel and whatever's strongest is going to make the, the yeah. next release. Um, and that's the best way to be in a band. That's how I always work my bands. So, um, and I didn't go anywhere. So don't yeah. listen to me. But um, <laughs> hey, we all but no, I think you stuff, need though. to, especially yeah. in the early days, you need to um, be creative as much as possible. Yeah. You know, to, so the listener gets, gets you from the get-go. There's nothing worse than a band decides to do something left the center four albums in yeah that's when they lose a lot of fans if you do it from the get-go you know yeah. you really you can only get better and go and be, be bigger from there so. gives you more of a platform to launch from i think so yeah i, I think it's it shows more uh um variety just shows more strength in in the ability of you being a musician and a songwriter yeah. as opposed yeah. to you know i know how to do this and i'm going to do this to a t yeah so, yeah, yeah. No. It's cool. Um, I like I like that aspect of it too, and I think that um, like these guys being a bit more seasoned, like they're not you know fresh around the gills kind of thing. They've got some years under their belt, so they've got that experience already. So they know just to. I think it's the same thing we had with um, the previous, like with Wicked Smile and that as well, where you know they just feel comfortable doing whatever it is that that comes to them naturally, and then the rest would be damned kind of thing. They're working together, I yeah. think. It's like, I know what you do and I know what you can bring. And it's just like, mm. okay, here's the happy medium. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it just sounds like a, a cohesive effort, which is yeah. which is a good thing. So and we want th more of that. We want yeah. more bands sounding like bands, not yeah. focused around one or two people and the rest of the guys are feelings, you know? Mm. I think that, like, the um, that shows like it did on um, the... Sons of Apollo, that, it's, it, that sort of stuff shows also in, in the groove and the swing. And this one has a lot of that about it too. Like the, the rhythm on this is really cool. The groove and the swing, it fucking swings hard when this one gets into it. It's really cool in that regard. So I love the energy they brought to it. Um, the hooks are great. The vocals are the standard element of this for me though. That was the, like that vocal was fucking amazing. Um, lyrics and storytelling was there. It does have a little bit of a prog touch underneath here and there, nothing over the top, but just little bits to show you, Hey, we've got some chops as well. And they put it in there in a very tasteful way, which is cool. Um, and I want a full album out of this. I, I don't know if you've checked out Vandenberg's Moon Kings yourself, but this is a band that I've really enjoyed over the last few years as well. I reckon if you like that or like, like we've discovered or discussed, sorry, anything from Zeppelin through the sound garden, give this one a listen. It's really cool. Okay. Um, this is seasoned musicians getting together to form a genuine band and that's how it sounds and that's how it feels. Um, I regret that it took me so long to get around to appreciating this one. I gave it a nine out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Um, I picked Tear the Sky Wide Open and Moving, which means again, we've covered almost all the EP with a couple <laughs> of choices there. <laughs> um, so yes, out there, make sure you let us know what you think of this one too. Please do check it out. This one's well worth your time. And <laughs>